was just always like at the YMCA pool. Like there was always just a fucking bandaid on the ground and it makes me sick to my absolute motherfucking stomach. No, no wet band-aids, bitches. This is a hot take, but cards against humanity. Why is that game so awkward? Like why are we playing that game with our family or with people that we don't really know? I feel like every time someone's like, oh, like, let's play Cards Against Humanity, it's, like, always the weirdest group of people that, like, either don't get, like, your sense of humor or just, like, don't think things are funny. And then why is it so awkward when you're, like, reading out the cards? Like, if you're the person that has to pick, like, why are, why is it so uncomfortable? And, like, everyone's just, like, giggling and, like, it's, like, my cards and also never get picked. Even though, like, I'm the funniest bitch alive, like, it doesn't correlate, like, being funny in Cards Against Humanity does not correlate like being funny in real life. So Cards Against Humanity pisses me the fuck off. It's not a fun game. Like if we're pre-gaming, like I don't want to play like a game. Like I don't want to drink and play Cards Against Humanity. Why are there so many expansion packs? Like why are we continuing to allow this game to just like take over all of our lives? I don't, I truly don't understand it. I just think it's, and also it's just like so awkward when you're like reading, I know I already said this, but like when you're reading out the cards, it's like, uh, Barack Obama's left nut, and you're like, that wasn't funny, like, and ever, and clearly the person's card who is like thought it was the funniest thing in the world, and they're over there like giggling, and you're just like, no, girl. Um, hair on the shower floor, hair in the drain. Like, live with somebody. I remember in college, like, there would always be hair, like, on the shower walls or in the drain, and that just, it's just so disgusting to me. There's just something about being wet, that, like, wet hair. Like, I can deal fine with, like, dry hair that's, like, on the floor or, like, in my hairbrush or, like, whatever, but, like, wet hair. Absolutely the fuck not. Leaving the shower curtain open. This is more of a dig at my sister. I hate when she does that shit. I think it's so, like, I just think it, like, I don't know. She just leaves the shower curtain open, and it just makes me irrationally mad. Like, why? Like, close it. Like, if you got out of the shower and there was a door there, like, you would close the door. So why are you leaving the curtain open? I guess I don't really hate that. It's just, like, a, a anger of my. I have a lot of, like, pent-up anger and aggression. So, like, these lists are just so, so, so therapeutic for me. I just wrote men. I just hate men in general. I think that there's no, like, real explanation for that. We just don't like men around here, so sorry. <laughs> Standing up on an airplane when it's not your turn to go. Obviously, when you land and you guys are leaving, um, you know, you, you go in order about your sitting. So when fucking Doug in the back stands up, when Jane in the front hasn't even, like, gotten her bag yet, like, are you standing up? There is nothing you can do in this situation. Like, you just wait your turn. When it's your turn, you grab your bag. If your carry-on's overhead, you grab your bag and you go. Like, if you try to grab your bag too early or you are a dumbass that puts your bag, like, behind, behind you and you have to, no, behind you. Yeah, if you're a dumbass that puts your bag behind you and you have to, like, walk back to go get it, like, you are the reason that, like, things happen like you are such an annoyance just wait your fucking turn and I think that goes for a lot of shit too like people who just don't know how to wait their turn and they like stand up and go and just like there are unspoken rules in society and that's one of the fucking rules do not stand up like I get it if it was a long flight you want to stretch your legs let's say the plane is sitting there for like 30 40 minutes okay that's fine but like if we're landing it was a 30 minute fucking flight and like you cannot sit like fuck you like actually like fuck you <laughs> that would be so QR code menus I get like the purpose of them but no like we're not doing that anymore like it's not COVID give me a paper menu give me an actual menu give me a laminated menu first of all if you have a paper menu that's fine too it's always disgusting and they like use them over and over again when they're clearly like stained and like wet but you 
use the fucking paper, like, whatever, a QR code. No, why would I scan a QR code and sit on my phone and fucking zoom into the menu? Like, I want to sit down and I want to, like, open up. school you could wear it maybe when you're like a freshman in college but like that even that's like a little weird if you're wearing your high school class ring after high school you are a pedophile you are a creep you are just there's something so wrong with you i don't know what it is but any person that i've ever met that wears their high school class ring post high school it's just weird it's, you're just a creep to me i don't know why but i do i hate that shit besides lipstick when bitches walk out and they've got nothing on like not a, not a mascara not a concealer not a brow and they just have lipstick on and it's like a bright ass lipstick it's pink it's purple it's red you look like a fucking fool i hate that shit i hate that shit either put on a lash or nothing at all or put on a gloss not a full-blown red One swipe of mascara. I see this all the time, like especially girls that are like glossier girls that, you know, do like a touch of concealer, um, a, a swipe through my brow, and then they go to put on their mascara, and they do one swipe. They'll take it out of the tube, they'll open it up like this, and they'll just go maybe two, and on the other side they blink, blink, and it's one swipe of mascara. What was the point? gone first of all like it's not there anymore and you look like a fucking fool like what was the point and it's always bitches that don't know how to do their makeup and they do that shit i'm like you it, first of all you don't you didn't even curl your eyelashes so they're completely straight out and they have just like a black goop on them do i take way too long to do my mascara absolutely but like at least you can see my lashes you know what i mean the right way everyone can get it to look like this like you'll be fine dirty bathroom sinks this frequently happens if you go to a man's house and there's no woman living there but most of you go into a man's house and you guys are hanging out you're doing whatever and you're like oh like i have to go to the bathroom and you go to the bathroom and their sink is just covered in like toothpaste and hair and like soap scum and it's just some disinfectant, some bathroom. 
bathroom foaming bleach spray it down once a day like once a day not even you don't even have to do it once a day i'm psychotic and i do it once a day but like i don't want to see your toothpaste spit marks like on your mirror or on your faucet or like just like marks like all like in the sink bowl like if you spit your toothpaste and like you don't wipe it takes maybe a minute to wipe that down and especially if you know that like a girl is coming leaves in an hour and you like they're like okay so my flight to Beijing leaves in an hour and I haven't packed yet the fuck you mean you haven't packed yet girly like what do you mean <laughs> I hate that shit um bathroom soap in public places public bathroom soap basically I it never smells good it smells like school soap to me I remember I would literally not go to the bathroom all day at school because I didn't want to wash my hands with the soap because the smell of it literally made me sick. It was like industrial. 
legs cannot do that. <laughs> I don't have mech knees. I can't do that shit. And two, it's just like, I, I just don't like it. Like, I'm sitting on the toilet. Like, and if people think that that's gross, like, I'm sorry, but like, I'm sitting on the fucking toilet, okay? <laughs> corduroy. I hate corduroy. I hate the feeling of it. I hate the texture of it. I can't, I can't look at it. If somebody's wearing like corduroy pants, it makes me sick to my stomach. A corduroy jacket that's like, Some guy asked me that on a date. He was like, I, I, to be honest, I think we were talking about like a pedicure or something like that. And he straight up asked me if my second toe was longer than my big toe. And I took such offense to that because I hate that shit. And like, I always notice it on people and it's just like so gross. 